apart from the politics, uh, Nguyenyo was indeed a very compassionate man. Somebody who even in his moment of pain, when he was ailing himself, he would still have time and an ear for other people who are also going through some difficulties. That was really commendable and unique. We have heard how he grew from very humble beginnings, committed to hard work, shunned corruption. And indeed, as much as he was compassionate, the reality is Nguyenyo also had a pinch of arrogance. And that pinch of arrogance was deserved because he had grown from very humble beginnings and it never got onto his head because he would still then remember that he had to work for the lesser uh, privileged people in society. And the times you came to see him, uh, Rengo referred to it, he would sit and one of his key questions was, what do you really want for this country? Everybody is allowed to be ambitious and you can be ambitious. But what do you really want for this country? That was the fundamental question. And I think as we bid him farewell, that's the question we need to answer. Not about our individual ambitions, which Shakespeare called vaulting ambition. You sometimes have it so much, and when you try to board the horse or jump onto the horse, you end up finding yourself on the other side of the horse. So Nguyenyo was very clear. What is it that we had for this country in whatever we pursue? Finally, as a golfer, Nguyenyo, listening to him, he cautioned that uh, enjoy yourself, but don't overdo it. Those of you who are golfers, you know in a golf course, there are 18 holes. When you finish, there's usually the 19th, where you go and have your refreshments. But today, I want to ask, perhaps, when it means now resting somebody who's been a golfer, should we Christian that one, the 20th hole? Because on that hole, God allows you a single part. No matter where you stand, it is just one part. And that part is that we shall be seeing Guinea go to his maker. We all pray that when the time comes for us to be on the 20th hole, we shall also receive God's grace. Asante Mama, Asante Conguinho. Thank you so much.